Hello folks and welcome to DCS World. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna start this video. Because we've got a new update. And it is for dynamic foveated rendering for the Via Aero. And I'm using it right now. Over the Syria map. And it makes a massive difference. A huge difference. Look at this. At times we're getting 90 frames per second. Now, just to reiterate, this is really important, okay? When I'm not recording, because of all the wonderful and challenging things I have to do to make DCS look good on the VR recording, I am getting 90 frames per second all of the time. Unless perhaps I'm doing a crazy busy mission, in which case I'm getting 80 frames per second. <laughs> and that is thanks to the OpenXR Toolkit team, which has made DCS truly fly, especially with multi-threading. Let's get nice and low over here then and uh, get down in the weeds. You can see here my FPS counter. Here's the other thing, okay guys. I am running ultra settings with a Stormforce 13900K RTX 4090. <laughs> now one thing I have forgotten about DCS, I haven't used the Vario Aero since my trip to Finland to see Vario themselves. And I've forgotten how amazing this headset looks in DCS. It looks so much better than MSFS. I don't know why, but it just looks gorgeous. I mean, properly clear, really super, super sharp. I mean, I will have the Pimax Crystal to show on the channel soon. But it's going to have to do some very, very impressive things for me to love it more than the Aero. So I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> because this headset is so comfortable. And with all the support now in sims like DCS World, it's, I don't need motion reprojection. Look, it's 90 frames per second all day long. If anything, we're CPU bound. And by the way, I will be testing the new AMD 7950X3D, I think it's called, with my 4090 soon, which will give me even more performance. But this is just the dream. Now, I don't know if you might be seeing the favorited rendering on the screen. So apologies if it looks a bit janky. But I have to say, the way that the favorite rendering is working, I'm not noticing at all where the pixelation is. This is done properly. And I believe it's done differently to that of MSFS because actually, at the time it's recording, the OpenXR toolkit needs to be disabled for this to work. It's a separate download and I'll have the link in the description below. It's so easy, guys. You just install it, that is it. You don't have to mess around with any settings. It just works. Just make sure your eye tracking is enabled in the Vibe software. And you are gonna be absolutely blown away. Oh God, I'm bingo already. It's because I've been flying for ages. I thought, you know what? I better make a video of this. It's gonna be a bit rough and ready, guys. Um, I'm not gonna be shooting anything um, today like I have with my previous videos. I'm just basically sharing my excitement for the fact that DCS World is absolutely rocking right now in VR. Just look at this. Oh my word. <laughs> oh. I love this aircraft so much. I don't really know of a time, guys, that has beaten this for DCS in terms of the excitement that's coming for VR. I mean, DLSS is coming as well, but I think if you've got a 4090, a Varia Aero, 
you don't need it you've got clear image all day long with this kind of visuals here now ultra settings 90 frames per second it really is a proper game changer oh god i am gonna spend the next couple of weeks in dcs world guys so apologies if there's no msfs content from this point onwards for a bit well i have got a couple of videos already loaded up but uh I am truly blown away with this. This simple little flight I'm doing here has to be one of the best VR experiences I've ever had. I'm, I'm telling you guys, seriously. Simply because it's so smooth. Like, 90 frames per second. DCS World, Fire Aero, Lofre LTH2. It's incredible. At the moment, I'm trying out a new profile for my HD rig, and actually, it's not really moving enough, so I need to sort that out. So, if you're wondering why it's not. Oh, God. I really need to land, guys. But yeah, it's not moving so much on the uh, screen. It's because I'm doing a bit of uh, tweaking at the moment. Anyway, I think I'm going to have to land in the desert somewhere. <laughs> but I just wanted to share my absolute joy with the fact that with the latest multi-threading update in DCS World and now with the DFR update the via Aero this is the absolute dream thank you so much for watching as always I truly appreciate it and by the way before I go I still have a discount code for the via Aero it's only about 100 euros off but the time's recording i think it finishes early april so if you are looking at getting a very aero make sure you use my discount code and that's all i've got today folks take care and bye for now <laughs> 90 frames per second it's finally here And I've now Bingo. run out of fuel. Bingo. Warning, 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 warning. Oh shit. So I need to now make sure that I get the best glide out of this thing and see if there's any airstrips around here. I've never seen DCS World like this. I can't quite believe it really. It's an absolute sight to behold. And this Syria map just looks absolutely beautiful. I'm just wondering, is that an airfield over there? You know, I think it might be. Shall we try and land on it, folks? As a bit of a sort of bonus part to this video. I wonder if I can make that. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely not an airfield. <laughs> but you know what? I reckon there's one over there, but we're not going to make it, guys. We're just not going to make it. So what we'll do is I'm going to pick that field in front of us. And let's see if we manage to make this. Oh, there's some pylons there. Perfect. I'm going to go for this. Wish me luck, guys. Here we go. I don't like the feeling. I'm going to head for that clearing there. Ooh! How about that? <laughs> we actually made it! I'm happy with that. I think we did a pretty good job there, guys. What do you reckon? Anyway, what a way to end the video. <laughs> but yeah, DCS World, multi-threading support, and now dynamic favorited rendering integrated within the sim it's a fantastic time for dcs world absolutely thank you so much for watching as always i really do appreciate it please feel free to subscribe especially as i'm going to need a new undercarriage for my f16 and i'll see you again very soon
Bye-bye for now.